Welcome to another Autic Street debate. My name is Theodor. My name is Andras. Hello. And Andras, today we are going to talk about the bayonet types on Pulsar clip on devices digital night vision clip ons, thermal clip ons, well, thermal clip ons, yeah. digital night vision, and the new Krypton thermal clip ons. We receive a ton of questions regarding the bayonets and regarding all adapter options. So I think that there is never enough videos about this topic and there is never enough information about this topic. So could we go through what kind of bayonet types at the moment Pulsar devices are having? Yeah, so we have these three devices set here in a line uh, according to how they were uh, introduced. So mm -hmm. which one was first, which one was second, and which one was third. Naturally, the bayonet on core was the type they first introduced out of yeah. these three. Uh, it basically, basically, it was introduced already on DFA 75. Of course. Yes. And then core was the second. The this is why the adapters are still called DFA. Yeah. Because yeah, it's yeah. the first one. Uh, so there are basically two notches, one on each side of the circle, and uh, this is where the pins b mm -hmm. basically fit in, and then you uh, rotate it to fix it in place. Yeah. Uh, pretty simple, basic. Then we have um, another, so the second one, which, was, which has four notches is instead of two, and now uh, that there are four, with four pins you get more fixation, so it's yeah, it's better. It's better. Connection, yeah. It's not as wobbly, or how to yeah. how to call it. Um, so it's an upgrade from the the first. And this was first introduced on forward F one hundred fifty five and one hundred thirty five, and then one hundred forty five fifty five, four hundred fifty five. Exactly. Got it, yeah. Um, so the same bayonet, completely the same bayonet, than on on core devices, and it was even this way that all the adapters which went on core also went on, on forward. Those who were uh, made specifically for forward were not able to go on, on uh, core because they had two additional pins. But naturally it's a good idea to put the one with four pins yeah. on the forward if you have option of buying it of course. Normally. Now with Krypton, even though the form factor of the device is similar, they went for a different bayonet. So it no longer has notches, now it has a thread. Yeah. So it's a completely new solution. We'll, you basically put the adapter and then you screw it on. Mm -hmm. And there are some other uh, things that you need to do, which we'll show uh, later, later uh, when, we, adapters. when we uh, show the adapters and so on. And these are basically the three bayon bayonet types. Now I want to move this debate to the solutions. Yeah, so you always, first solution is normally the original solution. And this is the DN adapters for, for cores and DFA devices. Uh, two pins inside. It's really easy to connect them. Uh, like this. You have a locking mechanism here. So you have to unlock it to, to retract it and it, you have to apply some force to it. This is the original solution. The original solution is quite bulky. It's very reliable, but it also features the plastic inserts. Uh, the reason that people really lose a lot of these plastic inserts because th sometimes you put the device on during night and uh, low light situations and so on, and, and if this plastic uh, insert falls down, it's really hard to find it. And second of all is that pools are taught that the best way would be that you fix the, the adapter on your daytime rifle scope and then you leave it on. So they are always supplied together with this um, lens covers, which go here. So basically you just remove the lens cover and put the core on top of it. Honestly speaking, a lot of people also didn't like the design because it's so bulky, it's not really elegant and so on. Uh, if I uh, mm -hmm. interrupt you for a second. So Pulsar is at the moment the only manufacturer of the adapters where you can put two different uh, objective yeah. lens diameter rifle scopes if they're similar. If they're, for yeah. example, 42 or 44, then you can just the range change the even, insert. even wider. Bigger, yeah, 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 it's bigger. They basically produce only three adapters and with these inserts, you fit the adapter to, the, to your scope, no matter what kind of external diameter it has. So they have 48 millimeter, they say 48 millimeter adapter, which fits all the way from external diameter of I think 44 or something like that, and all the way to 50. Then they have the 56 
uh, model which goes from 50 to 60 I think and then you have the 56 millimeter model which goes from 61 to 68. Um, like I said this is not the most popular solution even though it works honestly speaking but a lot of people like the design of aftermarket producers more. So and furthermore they don't offer solution for below a 48 millimeter. Yeah, yeah. so which if you have a, other manufacturers do. If you have a wide angle yeah. scope let's say with a 30 millimeter tube Basically, you're not able to mount it with a with a original adapter. So this is the first solution. Then, at least in our part of Europe, but I also think the Europe in general, there are two main producers of, of adapters for for all night vision devices, but also Pulsar. They're Rusan, which was traditionally the oldest manufacturer and is still probably the biggest, and then SmartClip, a new contender of of Rusan. Uh, both of them, for core, they offer different reducing rings. So the SmartClip has a PCM52. This is a reducing ring which is very special. We have a separate video about it because with this additional screws on the side, you get a perfect and really tight fit. It's like when you put this on and when you tighten all the screws, it just, uh, I have to do it like this. When you, when you screw the screws, it becomes completely fixed. Mm -hmm. And this is smart clip solution is probably the best solution. And it's, but it's also very it's expensive. flush with the with yeah. the device, it's really elegant looking and, and also the fitting okay. finish is, is perfect. So this is one solution. And then with this thread that is on it's standard dead out thread. So all normal adapters with this thread can, can go on. You just screw it on and that's it. Like this. And you have a really robust and reliable solution. Rusan does something very similar, a lot cheaper, but with only two pins. It's a reducing ring that doesn't have any screws or anything else. You just put it on and again you get an, uh, an external um, thread where you can put all the adapters on. Very similar solution even though the smart clip solution is more robust but normally also more expensive. Um, in the past, both of these two producers, the Rusan and the SmartClip, they also produced direct adapters which went on core. But because core is slowly fading out, I think in a year or two, uh, this um, bayonet will be uh, discontinued. <coughs> they both, I would say, go for the reducing ring solution more often. Okay, then if we come to the forward, for the forward, again, you have a original adapter, it's called FN, FN42, FN56 and FN50. So FN42, FN50, FN56, it works completely the same as DN. The only difference is that DN has two pins, FN has four pins. And DN can go on forward while the oh, FN cannot go to, to core. So this is basically the upgraded version yeah. of this bayonet. Yeah, they just added two additional pins. So really the same with this plastic inserts and so on, the same adapters. Then again, we have Rusan and SmartClip. They both produce reducing rings, which are almost identical. Well, SmartClip is lighter and smaller and shorter, um, but they have completely the same function. You just put them on and then you can screw on all the adapters from any manufacturer that has the same thread as the they all had 10 years or more ago. And you can use this tool for yeah, to completely fix it on. Yeah. yeah, so that everything is really tight and, and uh, fixed. This is one solution, but both of these two producers, Rusan and SmartClip, they also produce direct, direct adapters, which have these four pins already incorporated into their, into their design. They are really of similar shape. The difference is the locking mechanism. Rusan has the this lever which is goes uh, <coughs> towards the target, and SmartClip has this which goes in I would say to the side. Aesthetically, it's a, it's a matter of preference. Preference, which one you like more. It is true that uh, SmartClip was the first one who introduced also rubber uh, on the. Um, on the back wall, so when you put the daytime optics in, it's completely silent. But now Rusan, all new Rusan adapters have this same feature. They're also silent. 
so they, they follow each other, I would say, in, in this regard. Um, and it's, I would say, majority of people go for this after market solution because they fit the daytime optics better and they're aesthetically a little bit more pleasing than the original solution. Uh, the price difference is 100 euros, we have to point yeah. it out. 110 euros, 205. The price for Rusan and SmartLib is the same. 205 for and 167 for the for the adapter only with the thread without the reducing ring. Yeah. yeah. And now we come to the Krypton. Completely new binary system, like I said, with the thread. And this is the PSP adapter for original one. The um, pulls are went again with this inserts, plastic inserts. Again, they will have three PSP adapters, PSP 42, PSP 50 and P PSP 56. They will work on the optic side, on daytime optic side, completely the same. As you can see, also the design is completely the same between the DN, FN and PSP. They're completely the same. However, what Pulsar decided is that they do a special mechanism on the side of the clip-on where you're able to change the position of the screen in a way that your that your screen of the device is always in the center of your field of view. Uh, so this is this is I would say something completely new. It doesn't affect the point of impact. This is no zeroing of any kind. It just affects that when you're looking through a device, you have the the, so the display in the center. Yeah, of this the was of view. an issue on, on older models, forward yeah. and on on um, core and core. They were fixing this issue with this plastic inserts because if you were rotating the plastic insert, you were able to achieve the same. But now it's going to be much easier with this. And normally SmartClip and Rusan, they're already doing the, their own solutions. We already have the prototype from SmartClip. Rusan is all, already, I would say, in a couple of days, they will have a solution the same. It works very similarly. Just the difference is that um, these screws for the mechanism of turning are a little bit different on, on smart clip and much, much shorter. But the basic principle is going to be the same. You will be able to set the screen or the display of the device in the center of the image and then on top of it you will be able to screw a normal AS adapter with the same, with the same screw as the older Dedal and Later, also, I think Yanke devices have. And you can see that it's more aesthetic than the, yeah. the original solution and less but bulky. The build quality is higher, but also the price is going to be much higher. Yeah, this is. Uh, but I think that what makes people go for this Smart Clip or, or Rusan is that uh, uh, the fit and finish is much better. And then when you have a device for 4,000 euros, you pay the extra 200 euros to have this fit and finish that uh, Smart Clip and Poser are providing. Um, so I, I'm sure that uh, uh, this um, smart clip and Rusan solutions will be very, very popular, like their older solutions were already in the past. So the prices of this reducing ring and the adapter will be the same as with forward and core? I think it's going to be a little bit more. Yes. It is true that these are only the prototypes. Uh, we did test that the prototypes and they work really great. I think it's going to be a little bit more. I would expect between 200 and 250 euros for the whole set, something like in this in this range. At least this is my assumption. Maybe they will go even lower with the price. Let's wait and see. Yes. In two or three weeks, this will be known. Because this is all still pretty fresh. Yeah. Uh, these are all prototypes. Yeah, this one is a complete prototype, but uh, I'm sure that the final version will be, will be really similar or even the same. And. Uh, as far as I, when I talked to Zilko on Rusan, he also said that they will have a prototype in, in a matter of days. Maybe today they already have it, but we didn't receive it yet. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Um, you can check our other videos and see you in the next debate. Thank you for watching. See you in the next debate. Bye.